All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Bolt-On Screenshot System, or BOSS, which is being made by the amazing Linux Guru Gamer. And what this glorious little piece of work looks at into the game is a very useful plugin that allows you to take screenshots at much higher resolutions than your current game screen settings would normally allow. And I love this thing, as it gives you the opportunity to take really high-res shots of, say, a cool new ship you made, an awesome maneuver you did, the first time you visit a planet, and just anything else you desire here in the game. And I wish I'd have known this existed sooner, as this is one of those mods I had never seen before until it recently got updated to the most recent 1.7.2 version of the game. So let's adjust jump here to a random ship on the launch pad and have a look at how all this works. And it's pretty simple. All you need to do is activate the boss UI and you can either do that using this helpful button here or by pressing the P key. And you can turn that on and off to your heart's desire. Now what we have in here is a pretty simple system. The first button we have it allows you to change what your current screenshot key is. And by default it is left alt F1, but you can change that to whatever else you want just by clicking this and pressing the corresponding keys that you want to take a shot. Now the next thing we have here is the super sample of value and uh, how it does create the more higher resolution images is by super sampling and this number here will determine how much it does it by and basically the higher number you go here the more ram it's going to use which could potentially crash your game if you go too high it's recommended in the mod to never go above five and I can vouch for that. I, I tried it earlier and it made way too big of a file that crashed my game. Now the next button after that is a take screenshot button. So if you don't want to use whatever hotkey you set here, you can just click this. But of course, if you do click this, it's going to have the UI here in the shot. And you probably don't want that there when you're taking a cool image. Now next we have a couple of options here. The first is Toggle Burst, and this allows the mod to take multiple shots in succession dependent on these variables. We'll talk about that here in a bit. Then we have a Toggle Help, which uh, brings in some basic information about this whole thing and how to use it, as well as a change logs, etc., which is pretty handy to have. And the last option is a Use Toolbar button, which will, I I believe turn on or off the use for Blizzy's toolbar, but I don't have that installed, so that button does nothing for me. And then the final thing we have here is it does actually show you how many screenshots you've taken using the mod. I've done six so far. So let's talk about the basics of taking a screenshot, and with the super sample value left here at one, that will take a shot at the standard resolution that you're currently using. So for me, it's 1920 by 1080. Now, if we up this to 2, this will actually make an image of uh, 3480 by 2160. If we go to 3, it'll make an image of 5760 by 3240. If we go to 4, the resolution will be 7680 by 4320, and 5, which is the highest I went without severe game bugs happening, well not bugs, but a lot of RAM being used, 5, a super sampling, will make it 9600 by 5400. And the difference between these images, a setting of 1 of a 1080 image, is around 2 megs in file size. The 5 was like 36. So it's a really, really big image. And I just love that. And once you have whatever you're wanting to do, you simply take a screenshot there and you'll notice something popped down here for a quick brief second. And basically, that's instructions saying that while it's taking a screenshot, it locks all other buttons. So you can't 
screw around with something while this mod is using up all your RAM to super sample. And the higher you go with this in the super sampling number, the longer that is going to stay there for. Because again, it's, it's using a lot of RAM to do this whole thing. Now, if we want to do burst fire, that is with this button here, like I said earlier. And basically what you can do is you can set how long of a period of time you want it to take images over. So say like five seconds, and you want it to take an image every one second, or perhaps every half second or every two seconds, just however you want it to go. So you set the interval here and the amount of time here. And if you do want to do it in decimals like a half a second, you do need to type it out as 0 0.5. If you just go 0 0.5, it doesn't seem to like that very much. So yes, if we did that, we're gonna get 10 images out of this, and all we need to do, now that Toggle Burst is toggled on, and we have our settings, we just need to take a screenshot, and there you go, you can see it taking all of those images. And uh, yeah, it's pretty great. I really do like that burst setting, so if you are wanting to get a cool time lapse or something along those lines, that is the way to do it. Or if you're just like launching a ship or doing a maneuver, you can set the burst and it will work out pretty well. And yeah, that's really it for the bolt-on screenshot system. It's pretty simple, but very useful. I, I just love having the ability to take a much more high resolution image. Again, that five super sampling value was 9600 by 5400. That's a big picture. And it allows you to do all sorts of fun things with it. You can throw it into some photo editing software and you just got more to work with. You can maybe blow it up and have a cool printout made of your favorite ship, thanks to having that much more high resolution image. So uh, that's really all to talk about with this mod though. So if you'd like to take a look at it for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next but until that time. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.